Hello, hello everyone. How are we doing today? Lori from Art Laura, thanks for joining me today. Okay, so today um, I was um, looking for something bright that I wanted to do gold uh, and nickel azul gold with. Um, I'm kind of going back to my nickel azul gold love affair. Uh, it's such a beautiful color and you know it pairs well with other colors and um, it doesn't compete and it's kind of a chameleon it changes um, with other colors sometimes it's orange sometimes it's rust uh, sometimes it almost looks bronzy um, when it mixes with other colors it's really really uh, shimmery it allows that color to become part of it and it's shimmery so anyway enough of azo as a gold I just love it it's just I could go on and on forever so I I wanted to pair it with um, something fun and bright and um, I happened to stumble upon uh, Louise McKay art and excuse me she is um, a hoot oh my gosh she's um quite a lovely lovely lady she has a, a a youtube channel you should go uh check her out because she's um very very uh good with blooms and she does like a lot of stuff so give her a check out and i am stealing one of her color palettes and i hope she doesn't mind so um without further ado we are going to get down to the canvas I have a 15 by 30 from Michaels. It's a gallery wrap. I have my PPG Multi Pro um, already down and make sure it says the 473110. And um, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna make a mess. We're gonna do three blooms and I don't care if I get negative space or not. So I just want to have the fun colors show. So let's get to it. I'm gonna get right down and make some blooms down to the canvas here okay here we go and let's make sure you're in focus i know you're in frame but let's make sure you're in focus and you are all righty first up is the uh deco art it is the um metallics i'm doing the 24 karat gold metallics uh, love that gold it is so 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 pretty and um, it lends well, it shows well, and I just love it. So let's do um, some of that right in the center. We're going to go with that first. And you know, I don't generally do um, the, the gold in the center first. I always go toward the latter part of um, the piece. So, um, Next is Nickel Azul Gold by Golden, which is completely scrumptious. So we're going to go right there. And then next up is Aqua Green. And um, this one is by Artist Loft. And that's gonna be really pretty. And I think she had silver in her uh one of the this color palette i'm going to leave it out because um i don't know i'm just going to leave it out i just kind of want these colors in there this one here is phthalo cyanide blue and this is liquitex or no actually i lied it's not liquitex it's art smith and i'm just giving it a try i've been using it um i used it for a great big ring pour and i loved it it's, uh, it's very creamy and that's a little thick, um, but it's very creamy and uh, the colors pair very well with everything else and it shows up quite nice. So we're going to drizzle some of that on there and we're good. Black Cell Activator, which is the Aussie Flow, three to one with Amsterdam Oxide Black. And it's been tough to get my room regulated with uh, temperature we are so cold here and uh, we are so cold that actually uh, I was feeling air coming in from my window so I have to um, I think it was like six degrees not too long ago uh, I have to plug that up 
So there we have cell activator, and we are going to go high fan cool air. All right, here we go. Little noise. Okay, that is horrible. So, I hit the cell activator accidentally, and that's why you see all this. I hit the cell activator and I hit the paint. I tipped my blow dryer down, which I should not have done that. So, we're going to fold that in and start over because I do not like this at all. I do that. And we're going to do that. I'm just going to give it a little oomph here. Bring that out to the sides just a little bit. And then before we go any further, I'm going to take off my rings. Okay, so let's do this again. I'm gonna move my stick on the other side. There we go. All right, let's try this again. There's my gold. A lovely nickel. Aqua green, and then last but not least, phthalo cyanine blue. I'm just going to drizzle some of that on there. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. All right, so um, I have not been liking the blooms. They're just not, um, they're not looking very good. So we're just gonna do like a little bloop-de-bloop -bloop right there. And hope for the best. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I. Uh, I just keep getting the black, the cell activator, and I'm wondering if I'm just putting way too much cell activator on. So we're going to do this again. Here's my gold. And there's the beautiful nickel as a gold. Here's my aqua green. Love that nickel as a gold with that green. I think I'll just do one more bloop of everything. I think maybe I just didn't have enough paint because it really, um, I'm kind of thinking that my puddle was just a little bit too small. So let's give this a, tr a chance and see what happens. To try, I should say. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think I was putting a little bit too much cell activator on there. So let's give this a try and see.
All right, it still is not um, what I was thinking that I was going to get. I love the color palette, but um, it still isn't um, grandiose. Unfortunately, um, let's see here. And I'm wondering too, if my cell activator is, um, it's a little, it could be a little bit old because I'm not seeing a whole lot of cells. I mean, I'm seeing cells here, but not like I should. So, so you know what? I think I'm going to pause and make some fresh cell activator. And let's just see what happens. Let's just see if that's my problem. Okay, got a new batch made. Let's give that a whirl and see. You know, it could be my room because um, things are just not uh, the greatest with um, temperature control. Um, so it could be a couple of things. I might not have had enough paint and might be the cell activator. Um, and God forbid, it could just be me. You know, I mean, sometimes you just don't jive with the paint. So there's the blue. I think I will, I don't think I actually need to add a whole lot more, um, but I am going to drizzle a little bit more of this because I do like this color. So we'll do that. Okay, so here we go. I'm a little bit concerned about this um, being black. And so I just made it worse. Did you ever just have one of those days? Having it right now. Right before your eyes. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, see this seems really thick. Yeah, we'll give it a try and see what happens. Okay, here we go. A little bit of noise. Sells up pretty good, though. Not bad. Maybe when I spin, it'll be better. I do want to do that. Mm. I'm going to run out of paint here pretty soon. All right, we're going to go for the gusto. And we're going to put some paint down on this canvas. This is 
like painful. But, you know, in, in my defense, it could be my room because my room has really been iffy lately. It's been cold and warm, cold and warm. I have a heater in here and might not be doing its job all that well. Okay, there we go. Just a scant more. Okay, let's try this again. Get rid of that though. Okay, here we go. This is just insane. Don't do that. Well, it's slightly better, but I really do think that the cell activator is not where it's supposed to be. Yeah, we'll have to just play it by ear and see what we get here. Okay, we're going to go right there. I'm in love with this color palette, especially with this color and the nickel as gold. Oh my gosh, so pretty, but this blue really adds a lot of depth. Okay, let's do it again one more time. I mean, it is selling up, but boy, oh boy, it's taking its sweet time. Okay, last but not least,
Okay. Yeah, I honestly do think it's the cell activator. I think it's the room is just way too cold. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this set up. I may have to puff on it a little bit. Lord knows I don't need any more paint. So let's just give that a minute and then we'll be right back. Okay, I got lucky and um, they did uh, sell up. I'm gonna move these, even though some of them are almost gone. Um, so let's do this. Let's just um, see what we get with spinning. I'm anxious to um, see if we'll even get a decent uh, bloom. And um, I know that there's a lot of paint on here, so I'm not going to go real fast at first. Probably won't go fast at all, but uh, definitely not right away because I don't want that paint to travel off quickly. I want it to just slowly come to the edge. And, um, Yes, so let's see what we have here. I need my little favorite tool. And I am going to just encourage this a little bit with some paint. And you can just load it up right there. And that will help that to come off a little bit. It is real close to the edge, but it doesn't want to move very well because there's no paint to pull it. This will come off, but we're going to just encourage it. I should have done this earlier, but I thought I would thought it would come quicker than it did than it is. Um, let's do that because it is over my side a little bit. And, okay, so now let's do this. Whoa, all right, there we go. I'm a jumpy person, that scared me, isn't that weird? Oh my gosh, Christmas morning, my poor husband. I was in my living room having coffee and um, I had my music on my phone and I was doodling on my iPad and he came out and said Merry Christmas and I screamed bloody murder. Oh my gosh, I'm a very um, jumpy individual, I guess. Poor guy. But he's used to it. After being together for almost, well, let's see, it's been 41 years, um, he definitely knows that I am jumpy. You know what? This is actually looking amazing. I just cannot even believe it after uh, two attempts, was it? Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's like really, really pretty. Um, I do want this off. I don't like that. And that has to be filled in with white. So I'm going to scrape that. Um, I want this to come off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it my way, and then I'm just going to load this up right here. And there's a little canvas piece right there. There. Okay, so we're going to do that. 
and see if I can get that off. And that one part, there's two parts, three parts actually. This is coming off, so that's good. Um, wow, I cannot even believe how pretty this is. This is unreal to me with the, uh, how awful it was in the beginning. I was like so sad because these colors are spectacular. This needs to come off though. And I'm going to put a little bit of white in there and then spin it again. Let's just fill that in real carefully. go just kind of pour it right in there and then I'll take my skewer just kind of work it in there a little bit there we go okay because now we're going to spin again and this time we're going to go a little bit harder because unfortunately I know I'm going to lose my ends a little bit um there's a lot of paint on here. Holy cow, there's a lot of paint. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. What color is that corner? I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is take it from here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I hope it's not too um, deep in the center with paint. I have a really sneaky feeling it's going to be though, because um, there was just so much paint. Oh my goodness, so much paint. There, corners are done. Yeah, this turned out really, really pretty. All right, moment of truth. Ugh, nervous. Wow, it's not bad at all. You know, I didn't get as many cells as I normally get but it's okay it's really really pretty and i think i like the orientation uh i don't know they're both kind of cool both ways i think i think i like it this way this would be the bottom going up so I like the flower over here going in this direction. Let me take you down and you can see the results. There is the bottom bloom. There are the cells, and they turned out pretty good, actually. And we went into a beautiful petal, and there is the center. That center bloom is gorgeous. I can't get too close. There's the top bloom. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was painful for me but we did it so thank you so much if you like this give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel that would be wonderful i would so appreciate it and until next time you all have a good day bye